good morning guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my vlog uh we are currently i think 15 days out 14 days out from the vista and um, that cruise is we leave on the 19th of april and it is the 5th of april um so today robert and i have to run errands and i thought i'd bring you with me us uh, he'll be home here shortly. Um, basically, I have a ton of returns. Um, I have been uh, <laughs> having some retail therapy. Robert and I uh, have a lot going on with work, and it's very stressful things. Um, you know, just big changes coming up, and um, they're just they're stressful right now. So you know, no big deal. It's just part of our job. And also, uh, I just got home from the doctor. I um, I ate something, I don't know what it was, or came in contact with something, and I don't know what it was. Um, I broke out in hives, and they were really bad. Um, so I had to go in and get a prescription a steroid because they were that bad, and they were continuing. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's what you see on me. If you see it, you see hives that erupted just absolutely. Yeah. And it happened in my sleep. So I didn't really realize, and I was scratching. It was not good. Oh, but he needs to potty. Hang on. Anyway, I know a couple of you have suggested that I'm allergic to my cats. Could I have come into contact with something with the kitten? It could have been anything. Um, I did ask the vet, not the vet, <laughs> the doctor, you know, hey, could it be this stray cat? Could he have something on him? And basically my doctor's like, look, I mean, you had him for two weeks before you had any kind of reaction. So likely it's something else I came in contact with. Uh, it started after we were at work on Wednesday, um, so um, some of the materials we come in contact with at work could have caused it, any number of things, but it was pretty severe. And um, you guys have seen me react before on the ships. Um, the last time I reacted this badly, uh, well, it was twice. Once was on Carnival Legend and once was on um, I don't know, we went to Key West. I don't remember what ship it was. We went to Key West and um, I had key lime pie and I reacted very badly. Um, by the time we got back on the ship, I, I actually, I had to take medication to combat the reaction, um, which I've had to do a couple of times now. So in speaking with my doctor, I was like, I think I need to have some testing done. So obviously we are going to take steps to have that done um so i'm still pretty itchy even though i'm on steroids i'm still pretty itchy um it's really it keeps it comes in waves like i'll be fine and then i'll be very itchy and then i'll be fine and then i'll be very itchy <laughs> it's driving me crazy so um yeah but the steroids should take effect and i should be fine soon anyway um basically within I, I, the doctor told me within a day or two I should feel pretty much back to normal and I should begin healing and new hives should stop popping up um, because that's been the case like um, they move they're moving around my body anyway um, but I'll be fine <laughs> so um, yeah I have uh, makeup I don't normally wear on today because it's, it's super sensitive I don't have my normal sunscreens on uh, basically, I just have very light, mild makeup on because I don't want to irritate my skin any further. Anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of things. I have had some retail therapy. Lots of stuff is going back, but stuff that has come in that I want to show you. Last week's vlog, I did leave you some items linked down in the description box that I told you I would was getting and trying um, from Banana Republic Factory. They had a huge 50% off sale. And um, I did pick up some tank tops from Kohl's. Uh, the ones that, let's see, I have to, I have to stop scratching. The ones that came in, 
Uh, I have the pink one from Kohl's that I always wear. I ordered, took back the ones from Target, took back the dresses, that's what's happening today. The dresses from Target are going back, the dresses to Walmart are going back. A lot of stuff that I've picked up over the last few weeks is going back. I did pick up a few things from Shein that are going back, not the tank shirts I showed you, those are staying. Um, but these I got from Shein and they are really nice. Target has these for really expensive. They aren't the sparkly ones at Target. I just thought these were really pretty and sparkly. These are super on trend this year. And there's some by Steve Madden. There's some from Target. There's just all sorts of ones out there. And these are the ones I picked. Uh, eight and a half. Uh, so I got my true size. I didn't size up or anything in them. They're very comfortable. They're very cute. They're stretchy. They're nice. I like them. And something else I found. And you guys, this is beautiful. Look at this purse. Now, it's a nylon material like uh, Longchamp. And uh, it zips up at the top here. It's got a shoulder strap if you want. Look at the quality of this. This is really nice. Now, from afar, could you mistake it for a Longchamp? I don't know, maybe. I don't have, I have the two backpacks, but I don't have a purse or anything from them. And I won't, I don't have a need to buy it, especially since you can get them on Shein that look identical and feel like the same quality. I mean, little feet aren't. I'm gonna leave this link for you. It comes in a few different colors. This is like a brownie taupey color that matches my outfit today. And I really like this. Uh, it's lightweight, feels good quality, the zipper's nice, the pull is nice, the straps are nice. You know, is it going to last forever? I don't know, but it feels really nice, so I'm down for it. And uh, I will definitely leave it linked for you. Along with a few other things that I picked up from Shein, kind of practical things, uh, I bought a little bag that'll hold my um, air wrap when we go uh, cruising. I can put it in luggage. Um, I bought a little countertop organizer thing for my makeup. What else did I buy? Really silly things that I probably didn't need, but I was having some re retail therapy. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I bought a couple of shirts, a couple of tank tops. <laughs> I will leave everything listed for you and this cute little dress. I'll put it right up here for you. Um, I will leave everything listed for you. If it comes in before the end of this vlog, I'll definitely show you, but I, I don't think that it will. Um, so I'm just going to leave it linked for you. The pouches, the shirts, everything that I picked up from Shein, I'm going to leave it linked down in the description box so you can see. Basically, um, what I'm trying to see is if the same type of tops that I really enjoy getting from Stitch Fix that I can get from, from Shein. Because... I find that I get tired of them and then I've spent $35, $40 on a top that I'm not going to wear again after four or five use. Some of them I wear all the time. Um, and the tank tops wear out and things like that. So I'm looking for a less expensive alternative and I want to do a video on it. So we will see. Okay, so um, I have my phone and I had to order Robert a new phone case. His broke. Oh, something I did order from Shein. I told you this little jewelry case is ridiculous, and it is. I pulled out all the little things. I left one divider in there, but I pulled all the other stuff out of there. And I picked up these little tiny containers from Shein. It's like a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or twelve, ten or twelve of them. And um, I put them in here to hold my jewelry. So now everything stays separated and it's not gonna tangle. Um, it's done great and so far. I haven't traveled with it. I did, this is not from Shein. I did pick up a mic from my phone. I'm gonna kind of practice with it and see how I like it. So there you go. So that's it. Uh, I have put my rocks box on hold and um, they sent me another Stitch Fix. So I think I accidentally agreed to it. You know, at the end, if you don't buy enough, they'll ask you if you want another fix immediately and I agreed to it, and then they sent me the pre, somehow agreed to it. I, I was in a rush, I shouldn't have done that, and then I said yes, and then the preview came, and I was like, oh, <laughs> whoops, darn. <laughs> I love Stitch Fix. Anyway, so, it's here. We are gonna go uh, to make a bajillion returns, and uh, I will see you along the way, and in the car, or whatever. <laughs> 
I can't really remember, but if you recall, last week we showed you in the vlog the house that was blown down, or maybe it was two weeks ago. We think that's it, the one that's being completely framed. But I don't know. Is it that one there, though? Is it this one or this one? I don't know. I'll look at the video footage and figure it out. But um, It's not that one, because remember, it had the garage and then kind of the little spot over to the right where the yeah. house was, which is what that is going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh? We have not been to this mall in ages. Literally ages. This is Katie Mills Mall. Now we're going to park and go in. Uh, yeah, Robert and I. <laughs> right, Robert and I were just talking, but we didn't even know there was a cheesecake factory here. <laughs> I can't even recall the last time we were at this mall. Whoops. We were at this mall. I don't know. Maybe we've brought you here before. Maybe we haven't. I don't know. All right, see you inside. Okay, I was on time lapse, so I have no idea what you saw, but Rainforest Cafe is here. Um, we brought the kids here years ago when they were little, many, many years ago, like right after this mall opened. So I'm gonna go into Forever 20. I'm surprised at how many people are here. I didn't know that malls were still this busy. This mall used to be elbow to elbow people. All right, I gotta figure this out. I'll be right back. Wow. Guests, Fossil, Cole Hahn, Ralph, uh, Polo, Ralph Lauren, Banana Republic, Loft. A loft, I, you know, I love Loft. Most of these stores were here when the kids were here. I mean, not these, not Fossil, Cole Hahn, Banana Republic. That wasn't here. Loft was here. Old Navy's around the corner. Polo was here, yeah. I think it was like off fifth or off sex. This used to be a bathing suit company. And then there was on the other side that. Oh yeah. On the other side was uh, the children's place and Old Navy. Robert's getting his groove on. Which we'll have to have have to edit that because of copyright. Oh, yeah, probably. Miss A, I don't know what that is. J. Crew. Woohoo! <laughs> That's cute. I didn't know there was a J. Crew in here. Michael Kors. What's Miss A? It's Miss A. That's what it is. Um, Airy. Hellsberg Jewelers. Michael Kors. Jane and Jack. Books a Million's been here forever, but it didn't used to have the coffee shop in it. Or yogurt. Yeah, Pandora. Hoo hoo! <laughs> no. All right, Pink Off Broadway. That's been here. Hellsburg Diamonds. I don't know if that's been here or not. Mama Ship over there. What is? Oh, the restrooms? Yes. Okay. Where do you see it? By Fuwa. By Fuwa. Okay. And the food court's been here. It used to be when I could eat gluten, we'd always come here because the cheesesteak place would give out samples. And so you'd walk by like two or three times. You basically had your lunch with samples when the kids were little and we had no money. I mean, <laughs> you did what you had to do. It used to be Johnny Rockets where Jared's is. And then this, I think, has always been Tommy Bahama or... Okay, well, here's your little peek at the mall. We are gonna head back to the car and we have the next stop to go, but Under Armour, I used to shop there all the time. And then around the corner was uh, the shoes. What are the shoes I used to like? Oh my goodness, all of them. <laughs> and then Wilson's Leather was here. I mean, that's how long ago I used to shop here. So this used to be an outlet type mall. I don't know if it still is, but it was Buckle. GameStop's always been there. Bath and Body Works was on the other side. So, yeah. <laughs> so, alrighty, we're gonna head back to the car and uh, we'll walk the entire mall another day. Maybe at Christmas time. Maybe it's all decorated. I don't know. I haven't been here. So we'll have to see. We'll come back maybe for Vlogmas and 
walk the whole mall. For me, this is like a relic. To me, this is like, you know, a throwback. We used to hang out in the mall when we were back in the 80s. That's what you did. You went to the mall and you hung out and you ate lunch. I worked at the mall. <laughs> went to the movies, yeah. So, yeah. Alrighty, we'll see you at the car. I don't know when I last spoke with you. I think it was Friday. I'm not sure, but uh, it is now Sunday. We have been very busy this weekend. Uh, as you can see, it's raining. Yesterday, we cleaned out the garage completely, completely went through it, cleaned it all out, tidied it up. And uh, the only thing I have left to go through in the garage is um, my Christmas and fall. No, I went through fall already, Christmas. And as I'm putting it out next year or this year, I will uh, get rid of anything I'm not using. We cleaned the patio today. We got rid of all of that. Um, I actually just put it out front and people drive by and they take it. I mean, that's just how it works. I moved the table. I finished cleaning out my closet. That is the um, recycling from that. Tidied up my purses. I've gone through my Lego collection and I have um, uh, enlisted my son to sell the pieces that I don't need to keep. So all of that is done. And uh, yeah, I had another stitch fix come in. Like I told you, I. so I'll show it to you. We'll try it on. Uh, tomorrow. I'll show it to you tomorrow when I try it on. Tomorrow I have work to do, so I am determined to get the Virgin Vi Voyages videos finished this week. I'm done messing around with that. Um, I've got the house clean. I've got everything done. You can see I put the new flowers up. They're okay. Um, I know from a distance they look really nice. The red ones are not going to last very long. These are still that plasticky material I bought before that lasted a couple of years. These, the red ones are fabric. Those are going to fade and they're not going to last very long. So they'll be fine. Uh, the baskets themselves will be fine. Just I'll replace the flowers later when they need to be replaced. Um, so yeah, um, that's it. Everything's done. The patio's clean. The house is clean. Uh, I have just a few cabinets to organize and go through and I will show that to you when I finally get it done, but now it's time to focus on getting ready to go to Vista. And a couple of you have told me we're gonna be sailing together. I'm excited to meet you. And I'm not showing you my face because I am an absolute disaster. We cleaned the garage and we cleaned the patio today. I've been very, very busy today. So there you go. And uh, we'll visit with the pup real quick. And then I will see you tomorrow for you just a split second to try on the stitch fix and to at least show it to you. And um, I know what I'm keeping and what's going back. And then, uh, yeah, so be right back. There are those pups and Grayson. There are those pups. Yes. Oh, sleepy puppies. He's so cute. I don't think you've seen Mr. Muzzy in a few weeks. Oh, little boy. You've been such a good caretaker of the new little baby, haven't you? You have. Just in here keeping him company and entertaining him by running around his kennel. <laughs> You're so sweet. I just love you, little boy. Yeah. And then this one. Hi, Squeaky. Hi, love. Hi. Say, so I'm going to the doctor this week. Yes. I'm going to go get all my shots. And then as soon as possible, I'm going to have my neuter. And I will be good to go. Yes. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. How are you? Um, let me sit down over here. I'm going to show you my stitch fix. And you know what, actually before we do that, my bed is not made because I'm washing the linens. So hold on one second. All that to say, uh, saying all that because we're coming in here. Okay, I redid that up there, tidied it up. Y'all, 
this is not done yet but I did do my purses and I bought this nifty little hanger thing um, this is currently how I have my leggings uh, can you see it in this this is awful it is not working it is hard to get them in and out it's too long because I have my chest or my cabinet under here no so I'm going to try and hang them here I'm gonna fold them in half and then in half again so the ankles to the waist so I'll fold the waist in half um, and then I'll fold the ankles to the waist and hang them on here so we're gonna try that I have significantly reduced the number of leggings that I have but I still do have 10 12 pair plus my Spanx um, that I don't consider I wear my Spanx out of the house. The other leggings, I don't really wear out of the house. My bathing suits are in there, and I did pick up a new couple of new ones from, uh, what is that store called, Shein? And then there's all my running stuff. I got a, some sunglasses stuffed in there because I'm about to pack, so I, I've left them in there. So, yeah, and that is out because I don't like the way it fits. So I'm deciding if I'm going to keep it or not. I have a thread-up box that is about to go. Anyway, but I've reduced my shoes by about half, and uh, I still have a ton of shoes, but I wear all of them. I literally wear all of them, and um, I don't think I need to get rid of any of them. Oh, no, that's not true. I don't wear all of them. I wear a majority of them. Some of them are like dress shoes or heels that you just wear every now and then, but you don't want to get rid of. Okay, again, I'm washing the linens, so I don't want you to, and I'm packing in my bathroom, so I don't want you to see the mess. I gotta keep some things a secret. Woo! <laughs> yeah, see, I'm packing. Oh, okay, so this is something I showed you when my packing video for Europe that you didn't see. So I'm gonna show it to you here. This is by Bagalini. These are on Amazon. You can go to bagalini.com and they have a good sale, but you can get a better price on Amazon. I suggest you buy it either used or new used you know how amazon has that choice this was 63 dollars no this was 48 dollars and the ones at bagalini are like triple that so yeah and i told you i was buying another color of the spanx uh pullover y'all i love this and then i did buy the matching pants oops they're right here they did not have petite and after waiting and waiting and waiting i realized i think the influencer that I watched misspoke. These are perfectly fine for me. I didn't need petite. So they are a little big. I got the small, but yeah. And these are just some black pants. I'm always in search of the perfect black pant. I don't remember where I got these. They're size small. They were on, oh, Kohl's. These came from Kohl's. Um, and then here is the cream color Spanx top. I, I'm telling you, when I tell you I love these, I mean it. And this is that jacket I already showed you. And this is from Banana Republic Factory for the upcoming cruise. I don't really like this color, I don't think. I don't know. I'm going to see. Same thing. And then here's just a sweater. It was super inexpensive, just a little Banana Republic. I think this one's cotton. Be nice for the upcoming cruise. And then here is the same material in the Spanx top, but this is the boat neck, long sleeve. So so pretty so my face is looking a little better it's dry and forgive the color because today <laughs> when I was putting on my makeup I wasn't paying attention I was chatting with Robert and I wasn't paying enough attention to what I was doing I'm leaving this space open for a reason and I used my bronzer br brush to put on powder <laughs> so yeah and you can see it's too concentrated here you can see my eyes are looking much better and I have band-aids all over my body, which I will be removing when um, I'm done with this video. I just didn't want you to look at my hives. I am on steroids, steroid creams, and antibiotics. I had a really bad reaction, you guys. It was, it was one of the worst I've had. And um, so we're gonna have to figure it out. I have to go in for testing after we get home from the cruise. And um, even after starting the steroids, I had more spots that popped up. They stopped now, but it scared me. And this all scared me. And um, so, yeah. So my skin is super dry. I am puffy from the steroids. Anyway, so there's that. So if you see puffiness on me anywhere, that's what it is. And I'm going to be going to this cruise with all this puffiness on me. And that is just what it is. And um, 
I'm going to do my absolute best. Now, I, I did wanna tell you, normally I don't really care about my weight. Normally it's not something that bothers me, but since starting menopause, the weight is coming in a different manner than it used to, and it is actually bothering me. Some of you have asked me how I'm gonna get these last four pounds off. Well, here's, here's the deal. Um, I have found some workouts online that I'm gonna start with. I have told you I intend to have a personal trainer at some point this summer. If it's gonna happen, I don't know, but I'd at least like to go to a couple of like specific classes to at least teach me what I need to do to really start working out because that's what my body needs. It needs to work out. This makeup looks very dark. Um, Anyway, so when we get home from the cruise, we'll talk about that, okay? I'll get back into my normal eating. I am going to introduce a little more variety into my diet, but just to give you just a quick breakdown for those of you who have asked me, and I'm gonna have to change my battery, is I eat very high protein, clean protein, animal protein, no vegetable or pea protein, none of that. Animal protein and as much grass-fed, grass-finished beef, uh, chicken, non, you know, organic, free range chicken, um, and yogurt type things as I possibly can. That is the basis of my diet. The protein powder and collagen that I use is from Equip Protein, and it is beef or bovine, whatever it is, collagen, animal co uh, collagen and animal protein powder. And um, I eat very few nuts other than pecans and um yeah but when we get back home i will be having more fruits and vegetables in my diet because i'm tired of not having them and i think my body needs them um and that's just the way it's going to be going forward i will continue to always be grain free and gluten free i don't have a choice but um i will be incorporating maybe a few oats into my diet which is really hard for my system, but I, I kind of want to have a little bit of like, I don't know. I don't know. You'll see it going forward. I watch Autumn Bates. I watch JJ Virgin and I watch somebody else. I, I can't remember their names, but uh, oh, and Tammy. Y'all know I love Tammy's Ages Beauty. I, I love her. She has some great recipes too um, for postmenopausal weight loss and stuff like that. So I'll leave those three channels linked for you down in the description box. But the biggest thing I do is intermittent fasting, and I do that for two reasons. One, it works for me, and two, I can't eat after, it's getting earlier and earlier. Really, six o'clock is the absolute latest I can eat that I don't wake up with horrific acid reflux all night long, no matter what I've eaten. So, I, uh, my watch is trying to text my husband. So I, those are the things that I do. And when we get home from this cruise, I'll start sharing a little bit more about what I do and how I do it. And, um, you know, last summer it was intermittent fasting, high protein diet. And, uh, I really didn't count calories too much and I wasn't working out enough, but I lost, it was uh, 15 pounds last summer in about two months. But I don't think I was in full on menopause then. So there's that. So we'll see what happens going forward. Okay, let me change my battery. I'm gonna show you the stitch fix and we're gonna shut this video down because I've been yapping at you long enough. And the Sephora sale is going on right now, the 20% off, 10% off, whatever, 15% off. That is going on right now. Yes, I did buy a couple of things, but it was just like maintenance stuff that I always buy. And uh, sunscreen, I did buy one sunscreen to try the Super Group, the new Super Group sunscreen. Uh, I have the La Roche Posay, which does pretty well on my skin, but honestly, it makes me so greasy. I probably wouldn't right now because I'm super dry from all of the steroid ointments. Um, but uh, I picked up just a couple of things. It wasn't, I don't even think it was that much. It was the face, what is that stuff? Kiehl's face wash that I always buy. Um, the sunscreen, I don't know, a couple of like refill things. And oh, I bought the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow and then the blush one, the mini size for travel. That I bought those for travel just for convenience when I wanna pack super small, which I won't have to do for Vista coming up. 
Anyway, okay. So, here's my Stitch Fix. Um, I had told you I knew exactly what I was keeping, and now I just don't know. Here's this little top. Let me... This right here. This is really pretty. It's, it's my kind of top. I'm trying to stay off over here so that I can do the try-on clip right here. Monday Fun... Sh Shaylin Flutter Sleeve Blouse Blush Small, $39. I love these little tops, you know I do. I already went over the fact that I think you can get very similar things from Shein for very inexpensively. Um, and if you pay attention and read the reviews, key, pay attention, read the reviews for size and for material, you can typically get this kind of thing for very inexpensive. But um, this is here and I really do love it. And $39 isn't that bad. And if I buy off everything, then it's less, you know. Okay, there's that. This is the one I can't decide on. I, this blue, this royal blue, I like it. It's not quite royal. It's a muted royal blue. But I feel like I'd wear navy more. And then I also question if I actually need another skirt. I have white and then I have all my little tennis skirts or the sporty ones that I love so much. I love them. We, I've been wearing them walking the dog. I've been, we're, I really want to start pickleball. I know it's popular. My kids love pickleball. So I want to, I want to try. Um, this is the Tribal Remington Slit Pocket Skort Blue, size four, $69. $69. Doll hair, $69 for a skirt. Yes, there's shorts. And uh, there's this slit over here that I did not undo. It's still tied. And there's pockets. I love tribal. I love this skirt. I think it looks really good. It does accentuate my tummy a little bit, especially right now because I am so bloated. This um, dress, I, y'all, first of all, I got to pick all of these items. This is the lacer in size small. This is a fall print to me. This is not a summer print, but it's so hot here in the fall. And we do have some cruises coming up in the fall. And we have Europe next year in the fall. And this is a great little dress for that. I just think it's really pretty. Um, this is Le Seren Carissa Flutter Sleeve Dress Black Small $69. It's so expensive. So, and do I need another dress? No! No. What I am keeping, and I'm gonna try this on as an outfit for you, these tribal pants, these are gray. I have tribal pants in um, the plaid color, and now this gray, these are on sale for $39. 39? Yeah, $39.97. These are in a size four. Um, and again, they're big in the waist. And as I get back down to my normal size, uh, they're probably gonna be a little snug, a little big, a little snug, a little big, but that's okay because when I go on cruises, I eat a lot and I tend to bloat quite a bit, so that helps. And this dress, this top is beautiful. I haven't tried it on, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm keeping it. This is a gray, silvery, taupey color here. How gorgeous is this? This is a Monday Fun Hazel Split Neck Blouse Black Small, $45, and I love this. I love this. I can wear this on elegant night. I can wear this just any time. Shorts, pants, skirt, doesn't matter. It's just elevated enough and it doesn't have those silly ties, but it has that kind of neckline. Love it. Okay, that's it. Uh, the total for everything in my box is $261.97 minus the $65.49 all discount. Um, buy all discount for $196.48 is the total for this box, which is really outrageous. And I just don't know if that's in my budget right now, especially because we're cruising this month. So worst case, <laughs> I will keep these two for sure. Th these aren't going anywhere. So anyway, and I'm good. Um, I really want to put my Stitch Fix on hold. It's hard to put the Stitch Fix on hold. It's hard because I love clothing and I particularly love Stitch Fix and Short Story. That's enough, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. And um, one of you, I don't know if you want me to say your name, gave me the suggestion of Dexter for the kitten's name. Dexy is what I love, Dexter, Dexy. I absolutely love that. As of right now, I'm being vetoed. 
But let me just tell you, I'm gonna push for that one because I like it. I like the name Dexy for him. And I'm gonna keep pushing it. We'll see if I win. Probably not, I never do. The only one I ever got, ve I was vetoed on, but pushed through and got through was Bruce. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I think next you'll have one more home vlog, maybe a packing vlog type vlog, preparing to cruise vlog, and then um, we'll be on the ship, so we'll see you around the ship.